Hi everyone and welcome back to NCE. In this video what we're doing is we're going to find the equation of a circle which is centered at a point 14, 3 and tangent to a line which is given by this equation. Okay, So let's talk about this in general form just quickly. Right, So we have a circle. Okay, And this circle has some center a b okay and it is also tangent okay to some line okay which is given by the equation minus 3x minus hy is equal to 7 right now we all know that the radius right which is the distance from the center to that point of tangency right the radius is perpendicular to the tangent, right? So the radius can be considered as a normal line, okay? Because a normal is any line which is drawn perpendicular to another line, okay? The important thing here is this point of tangency, right? This unknown point x1, y1. Realize that if we can find this point of tangency, then by the distance formula, we can find this distance of, okay, which is the radius of our circle. Okay. Once we have that distance squared, we can substitute into x minus a squared plus y minus b squared is equal to r squared. Okay. We don't have to worry about finding the value of a and b, right? Because those two are given here in the center, right? So a is 14 and b is 3. Okay, so our only task is just to find this point of tangency, right? And then from there, find the length of the radius, okay? And the way that we're going to tackle finding this point of tangency, right, is by using the fact that these two lines right so the radius at the end of the day is a straight line as well as the tangent is a straight line okay those two intersect at this unknown point right so by setting the equation of the radius and the equation of the tangent line equal to each other we can find this point of tangency okay so let's see how that is going to unfold okay so let's start first of all by changing this given equation into slope intercept form okay so we're going to change it into the form mx plus c, right? So we are given minus 3x minus 8y is equal to 7 as the equation of our tangent line, okay? This is just minus 8y is equal to, we're going to move this minus 3x to the right hand side and then it will become a positive 3x, right? And we still need to add this plus 7. Okay, then we need to divide both sides by negative 8, giving us y is equal to negative 3 over 8, x minus 7 over 8. Okay, so then this is the equation of our tangent line. And as we saw in the diagram, the radius and the tangent line are perpendicular to each other, right? So then the gradient of the tangent line times the gradient of our radius must equal minus 1, okay? And this is just a property of perpendicular lines, right? So what is the gradient of the tangent line? Well, we can get the gradient of the tangent line from its equation. It's just negative 3 over 8, okay? So negative 3 over 8 times the gradient of our radius must equal negative 1, right? So then therefore, the gradient of the radius is simply equals to 8 over 3, okay? Right, so now that we have the gradient of the radius, right, we can find the equation of the radius by substituting into y minus y1, okay? And y1 is just a point on the radius, right? The only point that we have on the radius is this center, 
points. Okay, so we can just write that as y minus the y value at the center c, okay, is equal to the gradient of the radius into x minus the x value at the point c. Okay, so this is y minus 3 is equal to 8 over 3 into x minus 14. Okay, so we're going to simplify this. This is y minus 3 is equal to 8 over 3x minus 8 over 3 times 14. Let's find out what that is. Okay, that's 112 over 3. Okay, so 112 over 3. Okay, so then therefore y is equal to 8 over 3x, right? Then we're going to have this minus 112 over 3 plus 3. So that gives us minus 103 over 3. Right, so now this is the equation of our radius or the normal one. So if you call this equation 1 and you call this equation 2, right? we can find the x value at the point of intersection by setting these two equations equal to each other. So we have equation 1 is negative 3 over 8 x minus 7 over 8. This must be equal to 8 over 3 x minus 103 over 3. Okay. So now we're going to put um, common terms on the same side. So in other words, we're going to put these x terms on the same side, right? And the constant terms on the same side. Okay. So when we do that, we'll have minus 7 over 8 plus 103 over 3 is equal to 8 over 3x plus 3 over 8x. Right, grabbing hold of a calculator for the left hand side, we have negative 7 over 8 plus 103 over 3. Okay, so the left hand side simplifies to 803 over 24. Okay, so 803 over 24. This must equal 8 over 3 plus 3 over 8. Okay, so that is 73 over 24. Okay, so 73 over 24. Okay. This is still times x. Right, so to find this x value, okay, we're just going to divide both sides by 73 over 24. Okay. And that gives us an x value of 11. Now, to find the corresponding y value, we can substitute into equation 1 or into equation 2. Why? Because you have x marks the spot at that point, right? This is the radius. This is the tangent, right? At this x value, right, whatever that x value is, they both share the same y value. Okay, so that's a common point. Okay, that's why you can substitute into equation 1 or equation 2, right. Okay, so let's substitute into equation number 1. Okay, so we'll have um, negative 3 over 8 times an x value of 11 minus 7 over 8. Okay, that gives us a corresponding y value at minus 5. Okay, so minus 5. Okay, so going back to our diagram, right, we now know that um, the center is at a point 14 3, okay, and at some point 11 minus 5, okay, you have a tangent to the circle. 
And this tangent is given by the equation y is equal to negative 3 over 8, x minus 7 over 8. Okay. Right, so we've now completed our first task, which is to find this point of tangency, right? So that's a point 11 minus 5, okay? So now we can easily find the distance between the center and that point of tangency. Okay, so we're going to carry on and say, by the distance formula, Right, the radius, right, squared, okay, we're going to work with the radius squared because we need the radius squared according to the general formula, okay. So the radius squared is equals to the change in the y values, right, is going to be 3 minus negative 5, and that has to be squared, plus the change in the x values, which is 14 minus 11, and that has to be squared. Okay, so this is equals to, in the brackets, we'll have 3 minus negative 5, which is just 3 plus 5, and that simplifies to 8 squared. Okay, plus 14 minus 11 is 3, and that still has to be squared. Okay, so now 8 squared is 64 plus 3 squared is 9, right? And 64 plus 9 is 73. Okay, so we can finally write that the equation of the circle, right? The so equation of the circle, right? is just x minus 14 whole squared plus y minus 3 whole squared is equals to r squared, right, which is this value of 73. There we go.